Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, February 11, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we are looking at Bitcoin, and as you can see, we did rally yesterday up towards 47,980, and today we have broken down roughly 5%. It is very likely at this point that we are going back towards 40,000. That will probably that is probably going to happen before we'll go and target 50. I just don't see this just all of a sudden just go back to, towards 50 before we have a pullback towards 40,000. So 40,000 is most likely where most of the buyers will come back in. It will most likely happen before that. So this is the previous highs here. We'll also have the 20 exponential. Um, moving this way and we'll also have the 50 moving average moving this way so we were trend, uh, trading within this area here of roughly ten thousand dollars and uh, and we will most likely go back towards tre trending within that area of ten thousand dollars so we'll most likely see a pullback from here and a rally towards 50 and then we'll most likely well i don't see this going bad past 50 anytime soon as I didn't see this going past 40,000 anytime soon. So we were here for quite some time before we rallied up towards the 50,000 level or broke the 40,000 level. And I think that we're going to see something similar to what we saw here. So pull back from here, rally to 50, and then a grind towards the, uh, the 20 exponential and the 50 moving average, which will move this way. And then will most likely go and take out 50,000. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum has also pulled back um, today roughly 3%. At this point, we may see this pull towards 1,500. That would be actually quite nice if we did that. But 1,600 is also an area where you'll see buyers come back in. So pull back towards 1600, that is a buying opportunity. Also, 1500 is also a buying opportunity. 20 exponential has been very supportive for this, uh, this cryptocurrency. And uh, as long as that is the case, that every time we get close to the 20 exponential, that is basically a buying opportunity. Technical indicators are showing signs of weakness. They are slowly turning around. And um, that is also an additional indication that we will mostly go to 1600 and 1500 before we go to back to 1700 and then 1800. So let's look at ADA. So, yes, this is just getting ridiculous. This looks like Bitcoin when it went parabolical. And yes, it just, it, this just has gone parabolical. I think it's up to 24% today in one day. Uh, we are at 88 in the daily chart um, for this cryptocurrency. Uh, and if you look at the, for example, the Bollinger Band, you can see how far in the daily chart we are outside of the Bollinger Band. So we will drop at some point. The question just is how far we will drop. I said yesterday that I expect a drop towards 0.50. That is where we'll find the 20 exponential, the 20 and also the 50 will travel this way. If you look at the Fibonacci retracements for this cryptocurrency, we can see that the first Fibonacci retracement is at uh, 0.56. Then we have another one at 50 at roughly uh, 0.50. And then the last one here is 0.38. So we'll most likely not go down to this level here. Uh, we need the Bitcoin basically to fall apart in order for it to go down there. So just about the 20 exponential around this area here between uh, 0.50 and probably 0.60. That is where this will drop to and buyer will come back in and buy this to the upside. So this probably will break $1 within the next uh, few weeks if it goes like this. But moves like this one that we had today just can't. They never last. 
we'll see a, just as drastic fall to the downside as we have seen this uh, momentous move to the upside. So let's look at uh, Litcoin. So as you can see, we did rally all the way up to uh, 193 and then broke down very aggressively. So we had a massive rally from uh, 147 all the way up towards nearly 200. So at this point, I do expect this to break down even more, probably go back to 0 0.150. Um, that would be an area where we'll see a lot of buying occurring. Uh, we are barely overstretched still here in the bullish band. You can see we are outside. So we could see this pull back towards the 150. Uh, most likely 160 is where people will uh, start buying this. Um, if we manage to stay above this level, then yes, we can go towards uh, 200 and probably also 210 and 220. So technical indicators, they are merely flat. RSI is flat, CCI is flat, Stochastic is flat, and the MACD is bullish. So let's look at NEO. So as you can see, we also had a massive rally here from all the way from $23 all the way up to $36. And now today we have just completely collapsed. So this is also what's going to happen, for example, uh, with ADA. Uh, it, uh, it will rally. It will never sustain a rally like this. Uh, people will take advantage of this and start shorting this and, and um, it will basically fall. So we're still outside of the bullish band. We are going to see this fall even further. The question is just how far. We can look at the um, Fibonacci retracement for this all the way up here. So the first Fibonacci retracement at 27, that should be a very good entry for a buy for this cryptocurrency. That is the previous highs here. Um, and uh, we'll also have the 20 exponential moving this way. So that will give additional um, the support. So we most likely 27 is where you can enter this market in order to buy. So if we fall even further than that, then we have the 50 Fibonacci retracement here, just at the middle of the Bollinger Band. So the buy it here, that is just too risky. You can see what basically happened. People that bought all the way up here, they are going to see that money basically stuck there for uh, probably several weeks. Uh, because we are going to see a pullback here and then a rally, most likely. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see your newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. Good luck and thank you very much.